and welcome to Bristol Motor Speedway. We are here in the ARCA car on Monday night. I believe this is the second ARCA race of the week, as the new week has turned over. <laughs> so we see people sliding in the background. We are unfortunately the number one in a 3.0k strength of field. Uh, we are in the same race as Nick, so that's pretty cool. Um, I sent him a message, but I don't even know if it went through, because it did like the double send thing. But if it did send twice, I don't want to send another a third time either. So good luck to him. Uh, hopefully you got the message once. But we're going to jump out for qualifying. Not really sure what my pace is going to look like. Hopefully good enough to get starting position, but really want most of all is to survive. Wait a minute. I don't know if my settings are right. Green flag, Hold green on. Flag. No, put the green flag away. Take it easy. I just I want to double check this. Yes, that's actually not correct. Um, for some reason, negative 15 doesn't feel right this week. I normally do negative 15 on the steering offset, but it felt a little off to me. I moved it to negative 12 and it fit, feel, uh, felt a little bit better. So. All clear on pit exit. You can push now. All right. Let's see what we got. We get a good run to the line. Green, green, green. Okay, here comes your first time black. That's a new fastest lap for Bryce, 15.0. Ooh, got pretty close to the wall, but it was fast. One more lap. Alright, I think we got a little bit more grip than we had in the open practice session. So, maybe go a little bit harder here, see if I can get a better lap. Alright, very, very small the flag. It's improvement. Over. Thousandths of a second will put us P2. Don't put me P2, please. Please don't put me P2. Love of God, please don't put me P2. I hate starting B2. I mean, I don't want to complain too much. Actually, you know what? Outside, here might be the place to be. This might be like one of the best places to start. So, uh, I guess I can't complain too much, but I, I have to get a good jump, which is the thing I'm actually scared of. Nick right now in 7th. Taking a look, had a handful of wall hits you can see here, assuming that's what that is. Maybe they lost control. Also could have been that. Nick with the good luck. Okay, I don't know if he saw my message or if he's just saying good luck. But uh, we're going to need it. We're going to need luck. I imagine, as often happens, these races can get a little bit messy. No cautions out here, and it's very difficult at times to avoid the pile-ups at Bristol. So once you kind of like dive into the corner, you're kind of locked in. It's pretty hard to move out of a lane once you've jumped into the corner with it. And so if there's a car laying sideways across your lane, you kind of just run into it. So hopefully that doesn't happen. Best case scenario, I can maybe get some room, maybe even get out in front, thanks to my outside starting position. Maybe get some room. That'd be great, but I don't, uh, I don't really expect that to happen. I mean, apparently the uh, number five is pretty fast. And I mean, look how close all the times are anyway. I mean, half a tenth, third through so many spots. Just really, really close. So anyone could uh, get done. I think uh, I'm going to be kind of cautious on exit so it doesn't snap on me. I think the rear tire could be a factor. And uh, you don't want to break loose almost as much as you don't want to hit the wall. But you don't want to do either of those things, so we're going to try to avoid it. Because it's when people start slapping the wall, and then someone runs up and hits them from behind when things get bad. As of right now, it's looking like we're going to keep P2, unless the 4's got something to say about it. 
but he looks like he's got nothing to do at all. He has decided to maybe do the start from the back thing. Or no, he just got here, maybe. Okay, so maybe he's got to put a lap in. He's got six seconds, though. So I don't think he left. I think he actually just joined late. That's the end of the session. P2. All right, P2. Theoretically could be a good starting space, but I've got to control the car. <laughs> got to get it done. Pit road is closed right now. I'm going to do all time off the start because I am going to be trying to get away from people a little bit. And then I'm going to probably, if I can, switch over to what you might call it. <laughs> Session last lap. 60 laps. That'll go by really quick, I think. Well, about 30 minutes. About 15 second laps, right? So. Pretty standard for your uh, average ARCA race. I got my brake bias at 60. I think I'm happy with that. I don't need to move it back anymore. You really don't need to use much brake. Kind of just enter on the high sides what I'm doing. And uh, letting the banking carry me. Got the neon green number next to us. What's this guy keep saying in the chat? I don't know what that means. talking about oh are they friends with that person I have no idea but we're waiting for somebody to get in the car I guess and ready to get rolling here it's a game of survival here at Bristol be the last gladiator in the Coliseum. <laughs> this crowd wants blood. I the think they're gonna get it. Oh yeah, I think I think I saw in their car. Yeah, they're probably part of some team or something. Or starting on pit road. It's interesting in a series without cautions. He's just here for the safety rating, am I right? I hope everybody does an okay job. It doesn't have to be chaos. Docking, I know. It, it doesn't have to actually be an absolute dumpster fire. But it will be. <laughs> I'm pretty confident it One will go. be. Next time by. But hey, that's what you uh, that's what you sign up for here, and I'm ready for it. I'm gonna try to keep it clean, but you never know. Will I be able to get a good jump? Get ready, going green. Green flag, green flag. Oh, sweet. I'd expect that. So we do get around him early. Guy's coming off a pit road there. Wow, why does it feel tighter than I expected? Track temp change or something? Interesting. The guy behind has just done a I feel like I'm getting two. closer to the wall. It's kind of not turning as much as it was. So I'm uh, going to tap the brake a little bit on entry. Make sure I'm slowing down enough. It's still going to be easy on throttle on exit.
Jake, you're going to have to watch out here. Uh-oh. Wreck. I see people on pit road and stuff. Oh, Jesus Christ. Big wreck. Hold up. Go low. Go low. Go high. Go high. Go low. Oh. I am very lucky to have made it through that. That was uh, some pure luck right there to make my way through that. Found a uh, spot through the middle, kind of slowed it down a good bit. Hopefully Nick made it through. Get where he is. I can't really check either necessarily. Car inside. Clear inside. Feeling good though, we've got about a second behind us. I gotta make sure I don't kill the tires. Get session last lap up if I can here in a bit. There we go. It's always uh, oh, there. very helpful. Uh oh, I see smoke. Part of what's really difficult about avoiding uh, wrecks here, in addition to what I was talking about earlier, it's just hard to see around the corner. So I see smoke, I just I have to back off a little bit because you don't know what you're going to see. Even just feet ahead. Ooh, that got loose there for a second. That's uh, interesting. Watch out for that. That lap was a. See smoke again. Really gonna have to keep my eye out. Look in the top left of the screen as much as I can. Be ready for whatever I might see. It's really catching up to me. Not sure what I can do about that. Really don't want to end up self spinning out of the corner by pushing too hard. That was a Some more smoke. That's a bit scary. Outside. Clear up top. For the high side, I think. Lap cars, I would prefer stay low, but it's uh, you just kind of have to pick where they, uh, the other lane from where they are. There's no way you can even expect them to do one thing. Just gonna have to be smart. guy behind me is fast. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do anything about this. I have to hope that he starts falling off or something, because otherwise I think he's faster than I am. I think I've seen Nick. I haven't been able to look at the relative too much, but I haven't seen him as a lap car at least, so hopefully he's doing alright. Lap car's ahead battling, not really what I would see. Car outside. Clear outside if you want it. That slowed me down quite a bit. Your 
time was 15.9. Trying to run this high line. Been doing okay, keeping out of the wall so far. You just done a fifteen point eight. The guy behind has stopped gaining quite as much. That's probably good. Unless of course he's uh, doing better on tires than I am at this point. I'm not uh, saving them enough. Not even halfway, so lots can happen still. Went four back there. There's a little bit of break. Okay, he's point five back. Oh, he ran into. Uh, oh, he's got someone passing him. That might be bad news for me, actually. Cause if that guy's charging forward, he might be uh, heading for me next. In a little bit tight, I might have to back it off a little bit. Okay, Colton, that's half distance. Fuel levels are fine. White is gaining on you. The gap's now 0.6. Coming up on halfway here, inside. Stay high, there's a car on the low that side. Traffic being Stay a bother. High. Car outside. Clear up top. We're good though, we survive it. Can't waste too much time. You We've uh, definitely not run away with this thing. This track is tough. It's really, uh, it puts a wear on you. Wear on your tires and wear on your hands and arms. That's me complaining at every short track, though. That's nothing new. Close to the wall there, but we're okay. Don't hit the wall. That's how we ruin our run. Oh, wow, he's right behind us now. Inside. And we just gave it to him, of course. Clear inside. Inside. So I hope he doesn't just kill me. Stay high. Clear. Inside. That last lap was at 16. Still there. Still there. Inside. Hope that he uh, he might burn his tires up trying to make this pass. Still there at the bottom. Clear. Inside. Don't like this lap car. Still there at the bottom. Thankfully gets out of the way. Still I was afraid inside. I was gonna get picked. Still there inside. Clear inside. Flow car download. Uh oh. What are we about to see? Oh, I'm about to see the wall. That was really close. I don't think that hurt me though. was a bad corner. Oh, uh, it's getting real tight now. I might have killed this thing. You've just done a 16.3. But he didn't do good things to his tires either. And he's still the one that has to make the pass. Inside. 
Uh, I think he might have actually just backed off on purpose for a while. I don't know if he actually hurt his tires, but rather let him cool for a minute. Oh, this is a tough battle. This is a tough battle. Clear me. Clear. Car outside. Clear up top. Dang. I think he's got it. I think he saved tires better. Inside. Still inside. Clear inside. Car inside. Well, shoot. Clear inside. I didn't expect it to get so tight. And, uh, that's what's killing me here. P2. Still gonna battle, though. You never know what lap traffic's gonna do. Why is he staying high? Car inside. You're in the middle. Three wide. Clear. Two wide. Clear Jeez. inside. Car inside. Still inside. Clear. Got ten left to go. Can't believe I haven't been wrecked. Other thing, the leader could get in the wall or something. It doesn't even have to be lap traffic. He's so much better off than I am right now. In fact, the guy behind is too. I am really struggling. Have enough fight to even keep him behind me. Where'd he go? You're in the lead. Oh my god, I thought he blinked out. <laughs> I don't know if I really want to win that way, but what happened? He blinked out. Let's do maybe I can hold to this spot, that is. There's Nick, in 11th. B2. In retrospect, I think I would put the. Uh, Brake bias back in the car, too. Really missing some turn right now. This thing is tight. You got a lot of time to go. 16.5. The leader's up there in traffic. Things can happen still. Now, I remember when racing the ARCA car here and getting really loose on exit, so that's why I was kind of expecting it this time, but that's not really what I'm feeling here. Nick in front of us. No, I don't have to worry about him. Knowing where to go, he's establishing he's going to be on the bottom lane. Being as predictable as possible, he knows what's up. Two more, let's go. You two, two laps left. Come on, you're looking good for a car uh, inside. Fortunately, a lap car is trying to pass Still me right there. now, with like two laps to go. Still there, hold your line. Last lap. Clear inside. 
Okay, Colton, one more to go. Keep it together, we'll be on the podium. All right, well, another runner-up. I want to say that's like three runner-up finishes in a row for me. So, some Mark Martin-style finishes lately, but I will definitely take it. Good drive. All right, there's the ticket flag. Good race, good win. Great job, you did really well. That was a good race. That was so much better than I expected. Good stuff, yeah. That was fun, Good win, Curry. Fifty-six, eighty-one. All right, that's cool. I, I really thought that was going to be a big mess, and uh, we actually we got raced hard, but it was clean, and uh, got the P two. We'll see what happened out here, but you know, like the five and the eleven, the thirteen, they all raced really clean. I hope I gave him enough room. But uh, we pull it off. Was Nick in a wreck? Hey, he might have been. 4X. We'll see. Where'd he end up? 11th. Just outside the top 10. That's not too bad. So, let's see what did happen. Lap 3. 23 is going to drift up into the 10 and cause a huge pileup, which Nick was kind of in. He saves it, though. Oh, my gosh. This was a huge wreck. So the 23 wants to race people while laps down and... <laughs> cause the wrecks. said well done so it's a good race and everything so he gets it but huge wreck here just everyone piling in it's right near the start of the race and it's just so hard to avoid nick basically got away with it though i mean he obviously got some pretty significant damage i imagine but like look at all this just oh my god oh my jesus christ just Gigantic pile up. I mean, you know it's bad whenever I come around a lap later and it's still there. So I'm coming around from P1. That guy's just driving up the track. And thankfully there was room for me. I'm not sure what this guy's doing. Just driving straight up the track like that. But it works out, I guess. Tried to call out the huge wreck. So people would be aware of it. I just envisioned having to slow down and uh, getting pummeled from behind or something. But everybody did a great job getting through it. Hopefully that was helpful to people me calling it out, although I'm sure most people already knew it happened, considering it was larger than the sun. <sighs> Just everyone trying to find their way through. So moving on to lap 12-ish right here, lap 13. That's just some wall. We're going to go ahead and skip through pretty quickly some of the wall hits. I don't know why we're seeing Nick, because there was no wall hit even there. Yeah, we were just getting Nick sometimes. Oh, maybe some of that debris he's got bouncing around, causing the incidents to want to show his car. I don't know.
Wow, lap 40 already. There are not even really that many wall hits. That was a pretty big one for the 19 there, but still. Not all that many. Okay, moving along. Here's a couple cars next to each other. Is this going to be a thing? Six gets him from behind. That's pretty lucky that didn't turn him around. These cars don't like that. Jeff Gordon's going to get the wall probably. Yeah, just barely. This 11 was pretty fast. I think he burned his tires off trying to pass me or get around me there. And maybe fell off a bit. I guess I had to be uh, easier on that right front. Again, I thought it was going to be the right rear that was going to be the problem. I thought I was going to end up being really loose on exit, but not so much the case. If I were to do it again, I would be, uh, I'd be using the brakes from the start, I think. You know, using a little bit more brake from the start. And, uh, you know, putting the brake bias back in car as well. Just for that little extra bit. Maybe even uh, take my line a little bit lower in the corner. So it's not quite as far up by the wall. Maybe that would help. And uh, maybe going a little bit harder on exit since uh, the right rear ended up not being so much a problem. Obviously you still can't let the thing snap on you, but... Ooh, oh no. Right near the end of the race we got some more contact. But I believe that should do it. You got your winner right there, the 13. Did a great job. Earns the celebration from P4 even. So he had to move a little bit. We'll get P2. Very solid run. That's the third P2 in a row, I think. Like I said. One thing I do want to look at, just real quick, before I say goodbye, is... I know late we had to do like a three wide through some lap traffic. That was a bit scary. That was one of the scarier moments of the race, along with uh, making it past that parking lot early on. Yeah, I think it was right about here. I couldn't just wait for him, the lap car that was deciding to stay high. I had to cut low, and thankfully the 5 did a great job because he saw that developing, I, I think is what happened. And uh, he knew that I was going to need to make it in the middle and so he's not going to drift up middle lane he adjusts accordingly thinks ahead and knows to leave room and we make it work so that was uh every, everybody did a great job from what i could see around me very smart racing i'm so pleasantly like surprised with so much of that you know the five he was faster i just uh had that high line and I was able to avoid making any major mistakes. I was able to hold him off. He didn't just like door me or anything into the wall. Which is probably tempting when you're faster than a guy. You know, he's reeling me in pretty darn quick. He had the uh, 13 side by side with me. I gave it one last go trying to uh, see if I could get the crossover and not even close but I wanted to give it a shot and uh hold on to P2 so that'll do it for this one thank you for watching that was much less of a wreck fest than I expected but still plenty of action but in a good way except for that big wreck at the start <laughs> so unfortunately Nick got a piece of it but he, he still had a pretty good race I think definitely gonna look forward to watching to his uh watching his perspective but for now, thank you for watching my perspective. I will see you next time. Appreciate you. And I hope you have a good one. See ya.